see the fusing is done here on this end here and see that this one of course i'm touching because i'm sure i've dis discharged the capacitor 200 percent there are several ways to discharge a capacitor you can always use uh, something like this of course not recommended you just connect the terminals over here just turn the two or you can connect a multimeter this one and you can see the you will always see a voltage drop across that and then another way that you can use to discharge a capacitor is just to disconnect from power and leave it for some time so it will uh, discharge and you'll be safe around this space okay so that is not the cause of this video today so we need to look for a replacement of this this one and test if um, for sure our um, that will be the only problem here because I've tested the fuse the fuse is working fine this one is working fine so we just need to keep looking through for more problems in the meantime let me look for replacement of that